An Ohio church facing backlash after they announced they would be hosting a Rainbow Queen Story Hour at the church. But that's not all. They've also partnered up with an Ohio restaurant to hold a Rainbow Queen brunch the same day. And reaction to this has been, well, anything but good if you are a Christian. But the church claiming that Well, some who disagree with them and the event took things way too far. We'll get into all the details of it in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm blind. And guys, if you enjoy my work here and you're able to help contribute to my ministry with a generous donation, a couple of ways you can do that. One, just click the super thanks down below on this video here. That will open up a donation prompt for you to make a one-time donation. Leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below. You can also help me out with my goal for the month of March, trying to get five new patrons to sign up and bless our ministry for as little as five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. We have two signups so far, guys, but we're still looking for three more to make this goal happen. And we're in the last week of the month. So help me hit this goal just as we did for January and February. With Patreon, you get the alerts for all my content. It's not going to happen with YT and their alerts. You can also comment on all the videos over there completely censorship free, send me direct messages. And as a bonus, a lot of people ask me, how did you go blind? How do you operate your entire video ministry here with no physical sight at all? I did a video that explains it all in the description. I think you will enjoy. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So what's going on here? An Ohio church, Community Church of Chesterland is putting on, yes, a rainbow Queen Story Hour event at the church. But it's not just that. They partnered with uh, an Ohio restaurant called Element 41. This is going to be kind of a two-part deal here. And the restaurant is going to be working along with the church to host a Rainbow Queen brunch. This is all going to be taking place the same day on Saturday, April 1st. Now, The brunch is scheduled to take place at 10 a.m. at Element 41. And then the Rainbow Queen Story Hour will be at the church later that same day at 4 p.m. Now, the owner of Element 41 spoke out and said that ever since, you know, the announcement was made that they would be partnering with the church to, you know, host the brunch and host the Rainbow Queen Story Hour, the church or the, um, well, the restaurant and the church too, but the restaurant has gotten a lot of negative reviews and a lot of negative attention. The owner's saying that they've been called some nasty names. And, uh, well, they don't understand where all this vitriol is coming from. Well, I mean, it's, it's Christians, ladies and gentlemen, that are fed up with this. It's parents that are fed up with this. Look, I, I recently spoke about how Tennessee just passed a bill that states that anybody who establishment or, or whatever, even at a school, you put on one of these rainbow queen story hours and you got kids around there. You know what? You're going to be facing some consequences, even for the most frequent violators getting up to six years in jail for it. Now, Ohio is not one of those states that's yet passed that bill. So a planned protest is scheduled to take place the same day on April 1st. You're going to have people showing up at both the restaurant and also at the church. Now the church claims this, that Upon this being announced, and I want to point out too that the church has a preschool, okay? So you already know how they're, you know, trying to get kids with this whole Rainbow Queen thing. But according to the church, on Friday, March 24th, the church reportedly had a significant amount of damage done to it uh, by, well, people that we don't yet know. The church says that Their sign was destroyed. It says that other elements of the church, and I'll put some pictures for you down below in the description that you can check out. They say that Molotov cocktails were used here uh, against the church. And so, you know, they're asking people to help them out with these damages. And and I've always said this too, that look, unless they set this up themselves, which I mean, I don't know for sure, but you know, we have seen these sorts of things take place before uh, where they try to, you know, make others look bad and this and that. But uh, I will say this, I, it is never the answer to do. Look, it's one thing as a Christian, you know, you want to protest against these things and speak out. Yes, by all means, that is very important to do. But don't go down the, you know, the, the road of, you know, vandalizing and this and that. That's just, you know, never the way to do. Look, this church ultimately is going to have to answer to God for what it's doing. Remember that, okay? They're calling themselves a church, right? And they're, what are they doing? They're caving to the world, okay? This is, to me, anything but a church. They can call themselves a church, but look, 
uh, they are in complete partnership here with the world and they will answer for it. Um, and so unless they repent and, and we hope that they do. So according to the church, all regular services are still on schedule as is the rainbow queen brunch and reading hour uh, later on that same day. Now we have seen before, you know, when, you know, other, you know, establishments have tried hosting these events that, you know, because the, the backlash to it was so great that they ended up getting canceled. So, Hey, that might still happen. Now I want to open this up, especially for anybody. If you uh, live in and around the church, uh, you know, in, or even the restaurant element 41, you want to speak out against this. You know, they're, they're saying they're going to have all the security measures in place and for both the restaurant at the church, cause they're all scared and this and that. Uh, but if you live in the area, you either around the restaurant or the church, uh, I would love to hear from you. You know, especially let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Are you somebody who's going to be, uh, you know, protesting this deal or what? Let me know. And look, we're going to continue to see these things take place as we progress here in these last days and get closer and closer to the return of Christ. So many of these churches have fallen into apostasy where they have rejected sound biblical doctrine in favor of the doctrine of demons. And that is exactly what Community Church of Chesterland and so many others have done and sadly will continue to do. But again, the Lord wants you to repent. His will is that none should perish, but that all would come to repentance. So I will put more information on this for you guys here in the description. You can let me know your thoughts. What I want to do right now, though, something I do on all these videos, let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines. I keep you guys up to speed on everything going on. I do it because we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming soon. Now, if you're somebody watching and you have never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, the things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You can go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for as little as five bucks a month. Guys, help me out with my goal for the month of March, trying to get five new patrons. Remember, we have two signed up so far, but still looking for three more. And this is the last week of the month. So help me keep this streak going, guys. It might come down to the, the wire. We did it for both January and February. I know we can do it again. You can also click the super thanks down below on this video. That opens a donation prompt for you to make a one-time donation and leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below. It's all of a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.